Seth, maybe you might know a little bit more about exactly what this poll was that ended up on Twitter. Do you know about this? Yeah, okay. a little do bit. Know, do you know what the poll was for exactly? It was just a survey for Disney that they do sometimes. Like companies will send out surveys and stuff, just asking people kind of, kind of just to get information on like mm, what do the people want, kind of thing. Right. Yeah, that's. Uh, well, that's there's legit. there was one of those, uh, and the, the reason why it's even a thing is because the image used to talk about the the one of the options being Fantastic Four was a fan made image. Uh, image using uh, Krasinski and Emily Blunt, you know, as um, as uh, Reed Richards and Sue Storm. And this is the original uh, image that they use. <laughs> yeah, and Zach Efron. You know, in, in the actual, uh, when I was reading this on Screen Rant is where I saw the article, um, they said in the photo you could see um, the thing and bill hater as like the robot but i have i no clue what they were talking about i, I see nothing weird none of that here but yeah, yeah it was very very odd but this is the image that they're talking about um and this is the uh, this is the tweet comes from with great power book says an outside survey uh, company polling disney plus patrons regarding upcoming project to use john Krasin uh, krasinski and emily blunt for the four fantastic four reed is even shaven with a tweet suit and gray hair at his temples obviously i feel i feel like with great power book does not know that this is an older image i think it came out in like 2019 like yeah i think this is like where the fan you know uh, theory came from uh, with him uh, being Reed Richards, which eventually turned came to fruition. Spoiler alert: Doctor Strange. You know, like yeah. Doctor Strange too. He, yeah, he's all there. Um, so anyway, this is all just rumor mill. We 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 don't know the the intent or the integrity behind why they did it, but it seems like one of those very subtle things that like a company would do just to just to do have people like us do what we're doing <laughs> you know what i mean right to give it attention blow it up and to see if there's still still an audience that wants krasinski as reed richards now with that being said again if you haven't seen dr strange 2 there's a mild spoiler here but uh krasinski shows up in uh dr strange 2 as reed richards total fan cast and it totally happened now with that being said people like me and seth we're not we were not impressed <laughs> with uh, his performance it seemed like and if you watch my review um on the movie i said it he just he didn't he just showed up and just read his lines and phoned it in pretty much and that was it, it does that concern you about him moving forward as reed richard seth or do you think that was just kind of like a just a bad shot that they used in the in that movie surprisingly I'm actually fine with him coming back to be the main MCU Reed Richards. Yeah. I think, of course, there's room for improvement. He wasn't amazing as Reed Richards. But I think, give him a movie, he could be great. Like, there, was, there wasn't anything for him to do in that scene. Exactly. Like, he had, wasn't. like, three minutes of screen time. Like, yeah. And, yeah, and, and people, people were, like, kind of calling out the writing, too. You know, I'm not going to act like I know anything about the Fantastic Four comics-wise. Yeah. Because I haven't gotten the chance to really dive into them yet. But, like, there are, like, huge Fantastic Four fans that are, like, Reed Richards was also very poorly written in that movie. So, like, you know, that mixed with the limited screen time plus with the not really anything to do. <laughs> right. <laughs> Maybe... Yeah. Maybe give him another chance, you know. I mean, obviously, if we give him another chance, it's going to be in the MCU. Yeah. So this other chance would be him literally playing the character for probably the next decade. But right. I'm. Uh, it, it's yeah, that's fair, and I don't blame John Krasinski at all. I, I really don't. I don't it either. Have, it may have sounded like it in my review, but like it was just an overall generalization of how the movie portrayed him in this it portrayed him. Like it just it it. it it was like this huge build up, but there, but we didn't build up to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, and here he is, and he's gone. <laughs> All right. You know, like we, there's nothing for him to do. So, like, I, yeah, I'll totally forgive it. But at the same time, I was it, his appearance was lackluster. I feel like it could have been a lot better. Yeah. But it is what it is. I'm not too concerned about it, uh, much like you, Seth. So I think I'll say this: I don't think we're going to get Emily Blunt as Sue Storm. I don't know why. 
I've, I've, I've nothing to come out here and be like, Hey, here's why I think this. I just, I just, I don't know. I don't feel like that's going to happen, but like, right. I, I really do see, I, I really think it's likely even that we will see John Krasinski. And when this is announced, I guarantee you it'll either be Comic-Con this year or D23, which is Disney's own Comic-Con, which is in Ooh, September. Right. So, I mean, you know, they'll probably bring out John Krasinski on stage, whoever the director is, maybe even then it'll be John Krasinski himself. Right. And they'll be like, hey, you know, yeah, you saw me in Doctor Strange. I'm here to announce I'm playing the character in the MCU. Let's bring out the rest of the cast. I want Seth Rogen to walk out on stage. I'm just throwing that out there. I want him to be Thing. <laughs> Why do you want Seth Rogen to be Thing? Like, I like the, the casting. I like that idea. Like, I, I don't get it. Like, I just, listen, I don't know. I, I, all anything I know from Fantastic Four is what we've seen in the movies, which is quite a quite a bit i mean we've had like three four movies if you include that 90s piece of crap that came out <laughs> yeah but to me the thing is a very heavy no pun intended character you know in his emotion i just don't see seth rogan in that realm i really don't seth rogan are you talking about like dramatic acting and stuff yeah have you ever seen the movie steve jobs mm -mm. Okay, I know it's kind of hypocritical of me because I've never seen it either, but I, <laughs> oh. but I've seen I've seen scenes from it, like highlighting Seth Rogen's acting because that's more of a drama movie. He yeah. kills it in that movie. Uh, like, I'll check it out. I mean, I'm not saying that he can't. I mean, obviously, actors are actors. That's what they do, right? You know, but just traditionally speaking, when I hear Seth Rogen as a part of a role, I'm like, oh, all right. Well, there's the comedic, there's the comedic actor for the, I, for the movie. I understand that. I, I do get that, but I, I I think he would be fit for the role. That and, I mean, Seth Rogen's a fan favorite for most people. Yeah. You know, pe people love Seth Rogen. I love Seth Rogen. So if, if he got cast, I'd be like, yes. Dude, like, Seth Rogen's appearance in Chippendale. <laughs> Chippendale. God. There's a certain part. I mean, obviously, we'll get to it. I'm excited to talk about. Yeah, yeah. Uh, don't forget, guys. At We got, I think, one, two more things to talk about in a drive-by news. Then it's going to be nothing but spoiler talk for Chippendale Rescue Rangers, which if you haven't seen it, my God, go see it. Then watch my spoiler-free review and then come <laughs> back and visit us on this video. We'll, we'll post a separate video of our spoiler talk about it. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, we'll get to that in just a moment. But before we do, uh, is there anything else you want to add on to this Fantastic Four conversation? Uh one last thing. Okay. Zach Efron is definitely not playing Human Torch. Zach oh. Efron is almost 40. Well, not almost 40. He's like 34, but like, you know, in, in, by the time Fantastic Four hold, comes hold. out. Let's, let's stop. The, what, what you just said was ridiculous. What? He's he, he's almost 40 while he's 34. Those are two completely different ages. Yeah, that's if, why that's why I said he that's why I said he's almost 40 and I said, "Well, not really. He's 34." Do you think but 34 then, but, and 40 is like the same thing? But almost? then I was saying by the time this movie comes out in 3 or 4 years from now, he'll yeah. be 37, 38 years old. Wow, it's one foot in the grave, huh? I'm not saying he's an old <laughs> crippling man. I'm saying that Human Torch is like a kind of in his 20s you know kind of guy like early 20s I've, I've always seen him like that you know yeah, kind, all right. kind of 25 years old kind of kind of guy like that. Zach I, 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 I honestly 25. don't I honestly don't see the Zach Efron thing like I don't see that being like a good casting I, I'm not huge on Zach Efron personally so I, he's the same to me in every movie maybe I need to watch more movies but I see Zach Efron I'm just like oh it's that kind of movie <laughs> <laughs> Uh oh, Monty, Monty, Monty. So he's 26, basically dead already. <laughs> I'm not calling him an old man. I'm just saying he's not like in his early 20s. But 26, he's in his mid 20s. Then <laughs> no, he's not. Oh, <laughs> Zach Efron is. How old is Zach Efron? He is turning 35 this year. Oh, okay. Which well, again is not an old man. I'm just saying he's not in his early 20s. <laughs> yeah. Um. Malik says new actors would be nice. Yeah, how about that? Can we just get some actors, some, uh, no names? That, I mean, they, obvi they... obviously, you know, having um, Krasinski being, you know, Reed Richards is okay. That's just that's just he, he's in there. We we know that that's a most likely going to be what happens. But I wouldn't mind bringing in new actors. It, it's, I mean, yeah, I think that's a good idea, I especially think... for those types of roles. I think that they've said before that the cast of Fantastic Four is going to be a mix of known and new actors. My guess is the known actors will be playing Reed and Thing. You know who I think is playing Thing. 
but the, the <laughs> yeah, exactly. But the the new actors will probably be Sue and uh, Johnny Storm. Jimbo right. says, "Yeah, excuse me." Okay, I, I get it. I accident. I get it. My dad misunderstood me. Whatever. It's it's fine. It's you don't have to keep <laughs> making fun of him for it. Stop talking, Jeez Louise. Keep making. <laughs> Thanks, son. Thanks for coming to my defense. What the hell? <laughs> uh, I don't like that trait. <laughs> Where's the music? Oh, uh, I, 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 I don't worry about the music. I got control of the music. You just back off. Um, why don't you take down that that banner down there, and we'll move on to the next one. How about that? Thank you. All right, so let's move on to our next topic at hand. Are you are you done? You, no, you can still hear me perfectly fine. <laughs> I'm just relaxing. Yeah, maybe I'll turn my chair around. All right. Well, there we go. It was fun having Seth on the episode today. I appreciate him tuning in. So we're going to move forward without him for the rest of the show. <laughs> oh, man. We're feeling spicy today. It must be Monday. <laughs> must be Monday. Um, but, oh, real quick before we move on. Monty says, watch Zac Efron in Extremely Wicked, Shockingly Evil, and Vile. He plays Ted Bundy. I've seen, I've seen, I think I have seen that. Yeah, I've seen that Ted Bundy movie. Um and the role completely won me over for him. He deserves uh, to get a chance to play characters that he wants. Hey, I'm not saying he's a bad actor. I'm just saying I, I, I've seen that movie. Nothing Zac Efron's done has really stuck out to me. It's like, oh, my God, that's it. I'm happy that that movie did that for you, Monty. I really am. Like, maybe one of his movies will do that for me for some day. But as of now, it just nothing sticks out to me about him. Um, yeah. And real quick, uh, Monty also says, although I agree with the stigma although I, I agree with the stigma you guys all right <sighs> all right